so we are two crows for comfort. I was in a band, several bands that just never went anywhere, and then all those bands break up as most bands do. I was kind of together with Erin at the time, and I knew she could sing, I liked to play, so we just kind of went to an open mic here and there, and we just kind of kept getting gig booking somehow. I don't know, somebody would just see us and say, hey, come do this or come play here. Yeah, we were just like calling ourselves something different every time. And then we were kind of got to the point where we should probably pick a name <laughs> because a this is fun and we're having fun. Yeah. Days grow older still, older still. My musical background is just pretty much singing for fun. I did a little bit like when I was younger. I had a couple of friends that were musical and we would do like a song at our school thing, but I was very nervous about it. Even when we started, I was very nervous. Like I would probably say I started off being kind of, not background, but I would do your harmonies yeah, and yeah. kind of got And now I tell it. her she, it takes everything. So I don't have to <laughs> sing, I don't like singing. I would much prefer not to. Yeah. Uh, so it's basically forcing Aaron to take all the leads and me stepping back <laughs> over. It's taken five years, but yeah. we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Newer. That's a newer song. That one is about, it's sort of about my parents, more specifically my dad, just sort of watching him get older and, you know, kind of thinking, you believe as a kid that your dad is invincible, but as you see them age, you kind of see that they get older and they slow down a little bit. And uh, it's sort of just about him and the days of him driving me to hockey out to the middle of nowhere and on a Tuesday night and sort of about that. hard to put a genre on it to me, I think. Yeah, I mean, to make it easy, we call ourselves a folk roots band, yeah. just because that's extremely broad. We just say folk roots just to make it easy. It's very acoustic based music, easy listening, mom music. I like to call Moms us. Moms love us. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're very popular with like the 30 plus crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that's accurate. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> My company, yeah. Do you miss the maze? 
We did a song called yeah, Misery. Yeah, Misery was third. That's a song I wrote about Aaron. I wasn't dating Aaron at the time when I wrote that song. But we were working but together. It's sort of, uh, yeah, we were working together. We got to know each other really well by giving each other a hard time. It's true that boys do pick on girls <laughs> they like. So we would always rag on each other and that's why the song is called Misery because we were always hard on each other, but in a good way. Selling wedding rise in the summertime Going goodbyes in the summertime Not as close as we used to be A thousand miles, a million dreams it down the very first open mic that we went to and played like before we were even a band or anything was in may yeah. of 2017. yeah we would say like four and a half yeah years. officially we started sometime in like late 2017 when we yeah. were like okay let's actually so probably around four band. years of like actually yeah. performing and minus like, pandemic years yeah so Post subtract two we don't have a concept of the last almost two years. It's like it didn't happen. Cause it's like, ah, oh, we've been together for five years, but we haven't played <laughs> for two anything. years of those five years. So, yeah. but yeah, something like that. We have no idea. Father, my father, I wonder if I still can make you proud. Do I make you proud? Tell your work friends about me. The beginning, like the very first shutdown, we kind of did a lot. We recorded the whole second album mm -hmm. and got it ready to release. But after that, we didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it, maybe it was too convenient that we lived together as yeah. well. So it was like, I don't know, it was just a lot of mental blocks and... I think we get yeah. so much energy from the actual performing that it was yeah. hard... It was hard to get in the mindset. ...to get in the zone to do it yeah. without so. that. Granddad, granddad, you raised me up. I thought I'd be so strong. Granddad, granddad, tell her that she never done me wrong. Done me wrong. Tell your wife I'm too far gone. Do you still believe what they say or that I go to heaven? Go for in silence and pray that I go to heaven. Do you still believe what they say or that I go to heaven? I can, I can drive my car out to the eastern shore. I can, I can dance without my feet touching the floor. 
Touching the floor, touching the floor Tell your old friends don't bore me Your dream car will just have to wait I'm sorry you gave it Brothers, please know that I'm safe And I'll go to wherever Evolutionary wise, I mean, the songwriting is probably more or less the same. Story. It always has been. Lots it's just storytelling. Yeah, it's just all based on storytelling, and there's a never ending amount of stories. We've obviously, hopefully, have polished. <laughs> We've polished ourselves a lot more. Uh, we were probably quite sloppy when we At first the started, but yeah, I wish I could say something more exciting than that. We did Send Me No Flowers. flowers. We threw right. in an extra one. We weren't going to do that song. That's like the first song we probably performed of our own. That is, might actually be the first song we've ever performed yeah. Yeah. Uh, that we wrote. Depending who watches this, long story short, it's about uh, a lazy ex-girlfriend not wanting to work while I was working. <laughs> not about Aaron. Uh, don't worry. That's what he says. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's always yeah. refined, like yeah, even sure. if you play the same songs, like this song, Send Me No Flowers, where we talked about, that was like one of the first songs we played. The song itself has changed a ton. Like we're constantly reworking changing old songs and changing bit. them and changing, maybe I used to sing it, now Aaron sings it and vice versa. And we're always kind of doing that even to old stuff, constantly it's fresh reworking for ourselves it. But too. <laughs> yeah, the overall process, I guess, and, and the outcome is more or less the same. Yeah. We have no formula, just eventually a song comes together.
we got together while we were working together, and it wasn't very long before I quit. Mm -hmm. That was <laughs> different. I that was different. This is. This doesn't feel like work. No, it doesn't say. feel like work. I think that's the difference. It's the old cliche of doing what you love. You'll never work a day. Yeah. I think it's told. To me, it's that. Yeah, I mean, no, it is. Moments, I think where but... it comes into play more so is at home, where as if we weren't living together, you would get together and have a band practice, and you would be forced to do that. Whereas if I'm not in the mood one day, and he is in the mood, sorry. It's probably not happening. Or, <laughs> or vice versa. Or lasting about five minutes. Yeah, time, or else um, you not? disrupted me the wrong way a little bit, so yeah. we're going to end it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's definitely very good and very bad. Yeah. And then lastly was a song called The Ballad of Giles Corey, which is about, it was during the Salem witch trials, there was one gentleman, his name was Giles Corey, and he was pressed to death. That was his punishment for heresy. Basically, they just piled these giant stones on him and just crushed him until he died. And that was it. That was one of the other strange deaths uh, during the witch trials. It was obviously a lot of hanging, but he had the most interesting death so we thought we should write a song about that it's one of our favorite places to be yeah we, we learned about him on our road we trip. learned all about him and we figured why not write a song and use it as our closer always yeah it's probably yeah. one of our favorite ones to perform yeah, i would say our, yeah probably our favorite song to play yeah yeah the crowds they are calling me out Oh.